Good afternoon everyone. Welcome again to my YouTube channel. So today it's gonna be interesting because we all know that nowadays we've been facing um, not only our country the Philippines but the world is suffering from such very challenging situation we're in. The rampant disease called the coronavirus disease 2019 which is currently happening in our society it's the effect is worldwide and I just hope and pray that our brothers and our sisters around the world will handle this situation of course to be concerned about the welfare of our of other people our brothers and sisters so let's help one another um, uh, the, the situation is already there so what we need to do now is to uh, help one another so this time it's a time for all of us to work hand in hand like we should be united in being watchful our immune system very strong so that the virus will not affect us so i guess aside from those things like proper hand washing um, sanitizing ourselves our hands using sanitizer and alcohol uh, i think the most important thing is how to make our body our immune system uh, very strong so of course that talks about more on the, the proper nutrition that we need to have so this afternoon before we're going to take our dinner of course so we will be making something of course a viand something that will help us boost our immune system so it will gonna help us to stay healthy and to fight for that covid or coronavirus disease let's go and let's cook something let's prepare something for dinner that is one of the most nutritious variant i guess because it contains lots of vegetables one way to stay healthy is we need to eat vegetables of course so we will be preparing what we call the squash mixed with some vegetables of course so what we will be needing would be here first um, the chopped onions the minced garlic or actually it's not minced but it's also chopped and then we also have so we also have the olive oil which we only trust to use uh, only olive oil, nothing else. Um, it's very healthy, of course. So we don't use any oil except olive oil. And we also have this the fish sauce. Um, it's locally made, of course. Um, and also other one. It's for patties, florets. This is substitute when you don't have salt. But of course we will be needing of course also salt later. Um it's the most important thing. Yeah, some black Himalayan salt to add taste. Okay. So we also have these beans, coconut milk, coconut milk which was from just heated coconut so I just bought this it's really fresh fresh coconut milk so we will be using that later and scales uh, we have the shrimp so it's very optional to use shrimp sometimes other people would love to use uh, pork but for me this time we will be using shrimp here and of course, most important, um, squash, 
and that's the thing so this is um we call this the local term malungay or in the scientific name is moringa olivera so that's malungay which is i guess this is the most uh, nutritious uh, leaf ever uh, this is the most nutritious uh, vegetable one of the most nutritious leaves okay so that's it um, i really like malungay so those are the ingredients that we will be cooking so this is gonna be simple and it will only take us five to ten minutes i guess to prepare okay so first so we are going to prepare the pan we're going to saute Don't just take the onions and garlic. So sometimes I'm also using ginger, but this time, you know, uh, we don't need to use garlic. Because now we are heating it up. Okay. So after that, we will be putting olive oil so I was saying olive oil is very healthy so we need to set it to the saute function so it's gonna be very hot so we have to minimize it I guess 12 You can see the onions and garlic is turning to it's becoming all brown. So we need to put away the beans. Is this coconut milk? So 
so I think we will just be out of this. So the other half is eliminating it later. So let it boil. So according to the experts, they were saying that the taste of the leaves there you go, it's done. Okay, let's taste this one. It's perfect. So there you go everyone, we have prepared for our dinner and so don't forget to always follow me on my YouTube account and also hit the bell button so you will be notified in my upcoming videos. So stay safe and pray always. So God is always there. Good night everyone.